Hello, this is the Balkan Architect and in this video I will show you how to create a parametric roof in Revit and with construction. So here I have just a project I've been working on. This is a gas station. Here we have basically a cafe and here is where you pour the gas. And this behind is a building for truck servicing and it has its own roof so I'm not going to touch that. I'm just going to create a, an interesting roof kind of like this over here in this portion of the building. So f to do this we need to create a mass, a conceptual mass. So I'm going to go to massing and site and in place mass. I'm going to call it roof. I'm going to go OK. And here we are. We're in the massing environment. So I'm going to go to lower level. And I have this section already placed here so we can look at the building from this side and now I'm just going to place some reference planes over here on which we'll draw the profiles of our roof. So I'm going to place the first one maybe here like so and I'm going to name it number one. I'm going to create another one here at the end of it or basically at the end of this portion where the cafe is and I'm going to name it number two and for the last one I'm going to go all the way here and this will be the end portion and I will call it number three okay now I'm going to go I'm just checking if all the names are there okay now I'm going to go into this section so I can start drawing the profiles so I'm going to use reference plane, uh, reference lines for this and first we need to set the work plane. I'm going to go by name and then I'm going to choose the plane number one. I'm going to go OK and for this I'll be creating an arc and it will just start from I don't know from here to here and just make it arc a little bit and let's just make this overhang like so. Okay, I have the first arc. Then I'm going to go to reference plane, line, I'm sorry. And now I'm going to choose reference plane 2. And then I'm going to create basically a, the same arc. These two are going to be the same and the third one will be different. So that's that. And now let's go to reference line again, arc and then reference plane number three. And I'm going to go from this point over here all the way outside of the drawing, something like this. Let's make it a bit interesting. And let's create something like that. Okay. Now we have the third arc and let's go into 3D to see what we have done. Okay, we have these two that are the same and this one that's a bit wild. Okay, now once I've done that, I'm just going to select the first one, the second one, the third one and go create form. And there you go, we have our form. Now, if we just created a normal, basically, curtain roof over it, it will be just normal and we wouldn't have any construction elements. So first I need to create basically the construction element that goes inside this. So when I select it and I go divide surface, we actually need to create an element that goes inside of this pattern. I'm just going to change the pattern from 10 here to maybe, let's go 15. OK, and in the other direction I'm going to go down to maybe 6. OK, that looks a bit better. OK, I like how it looks right now, so let's create the element that goes inside of this. So I'm going to go to new, new family, I'm going to go back a folder, go into English and find where it is. OK, metric curtain panel pattern based. This is the one you need. Go open. And this is what we're working with. Let's just check the units. UN. OK, it's in millimeters. I'm just going to change it to meters. I prefer working in meters. So now we need to place uh, just these reference points 
on each of these little reference planes you see over here. So I'm going to go set reference plane, choose this one and set a point there. Do the same thing here, choose reference plane, set a point, same thing here, set a point and here. Okay, I've done that so now I can select everything, go into filter, check none and go reference points, apply, OK. And now I can offset them by the value of 1 meter. OK, you can see now they're above. Now I've done that, so now if I select one of these and I move them up, our reference point will move up with it. So I'm just going to go back. OK, now go back to reference lines and just go into 3D snapping, check it. And then I'm just going to go here in a circle. Now I'm going to create reference points in the middle of these two. OK, now go back to reference lines and create kind of a triangle over here. And another one over here. And let's just connect these two center points. OK, now we have some geometry that looks kind of like this. Now you're going to want to select these four and let's create a form. I'm just going to choose this one and for the offset I'm going to go 0 0.005. OK, that looks about right. Now let's select the whole form and add material and I'm going to choose glass go OK. Now that's made of glass. Now we need to add some more reference planes. Just go reference or reference points actually. And just place them one here in the middle, one on this line, one on this line and one over here. Now I'm going to go to model and then circle and First we need to set the reference plane. I'm going to choose this one first. And I'm going to create a circle over here, point zero 0.04. Same thing here. Choose this one, point zero 0.04. For this one I'm going to go something bigger. So choose that one. Maybe zero 0.07. And for this one over here, I'm going to choose the largest because this is actually the construction element. So I'm going to go 0.1 actually. OK, so now we have that. Now let's create the rest of the geometry. So choose this one, this one and our little circle here. Create form. OK, now the construction element. Create form. Now these two and the circle create form and this one and all these four reference lines and create form. OK, now we have our basic form done and let's just select all of these and assign material to them. So I'm just going to go material, AL for aluminum, where is our aluminum? Aluminum is all the way down. Let's choose this one. Apply. OK. OK, so this looks OK. So I'm going to go load into project and close. So I need to save the family. OK, I'm going to save it on desktop. Save. OK, now go into 3D view. We're going to select our mass. And for the pattern, I'm going to choose my element. I'm going to use this one family too. And let's see what happens. It has to take, takes a while to load. And there you go. So basically, just go finish mass. And you can see Revit used our form and our family to create this interesting pattern and you can see that the bottom portion is actually the part of the construction. It looks 
kind of interesting. Now if I go maybe to perspective view yeah it looks a lot nicer than some normal gas station roof. Okay that's pretty much it for this project it has some mistakes I can fix that later you can change the basic the, the massing shape so that's pretty much it for this video thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and have a nice day